Hello guys and welcome, it is the SRB2 Dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video. Now today I am going to be going through the callouts and positions for Port Mackerel in Splatoon 2. Uh, these are the callouts that usually Team Olive use, like to use, which is my team. And, you know, just to let you guys know what I call everything on the map. So Port Mackerel honestly is very, very straightforward. Uh, there aren't too many callouts and usually what... Uh, kind of happens is that the callouts usually become more progressive uh, especially in game types like tower control and rainmaker but we're going to kind of start off with zones because there aren't really too many places that get called so out. i guess the first thing i should point out is that this side of the map is going to be considered as the enemy's side and it'll be basically the side that we will be you know noting everything so Let's go ahead and go into this. So for Port Mackerel, usually the callouts get very, very progressive, especially when you are playing game types like Rainmaker and Tower Control. But we're going to start off with the lanes or the main areas, which is basically left lane, mid lane and right lane. You can say zone as well. I mean, sometimes we, I mean, honestly, our team sometimes doesn't really say it. Uh, we always kind of just say there's one left lane, mid lane, right lane, but you know, it doesn't hurt to be more specific. So if somebody is on the left side of zone, you can say that, or if there's someone in the right side of zone, you can say that as well. You don't really say zone, mainly because they would still, we can kind of just say, hey, there's one in mid lane. And considering that normally in Port Mackerel, you kind of have one person here, one person here, one person here. You don't normally say, hey, there's somebody in zone. Usually when you say, hey, there's somebody in zone, they're just in the middle of the zone. In this case, they'll just be in the middle of mid lane. So we just say there is one in mid lane. So this person would see it. The straggler person which normally kind of goes from here 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 if they really want to they can, you can have you can stack people as well you can have two people here two people here two people here if you want uh but usually that straggler that fourth player uh can kind of identify that okay there's somebody in mid lane so i can if let's say if the straggler person's here they can just like walk here and see okay the person's in mid lane I am going to suppress right here, and this person's going to help suppress as well, so, uh, yeah, that was a little bit messy, I hope you guys kind of got on board with what I was trying to uh, say there, uh, but just to, I guess, let you know in full is that we normally just call these left lane, mid lane, right lane. Now, I'm actually going to change the game type, I'm going to actually change it to tower control. Now, this is where things get a little bit interesting, because... You got uh, these two specific points here. You got this thing over here, and you got this thing over here. Now, you could call it their sponge, or our sponge, or whichever. Our sponge, their sponge. Now, only one of these is called their sponge. So I'm going to actually point this out for you. So I'm going to just change the color, just so I'm familiar with that. So, this... This is their sponge just to let you guys know that this is their sponge this would be our sponge of course but this is their sponge the reason for why we don't call this their sponge even though there is another sponge obviously there is that we call this entire area old zone now it's kind of obvious for any splatoon one veterans out there why we call it old zone is because in splatoon one splat zones this is, this is where the splat zones used to be. This is where one of the points where it used to be. So it's just us trying to not confuse ourselves, saying, okay, there's one, there's sponge, then we have a player, okay, there's one our sponge, let me just go all the way back over here. Okay, there is one over here. Or that player going from here to here, saying, oh, he's not there, he's not out, out there sponge, or something like that, you know? It, it gets a little bit confusing. Another caller I want to point out with you guys is this thing and this thing as well now what we call this is the left top and what we call this as well is the right top now our team and the enemy team have four of these of course because you have all of this in the map uh but we usually call this one left top and this one right top if a player is standing there that's what we call out and then you can say that there is one their back left top or their whichever back you want right to call top. it um but that's just how we identify it is. Now, this entire area right here is known as court. 
it's kind of attached to old zone a little bit and you can kind of say with old zone there's technically one their right core if they are in this area uh but you don't normally say that you know i mean normally uh my team just says there's one old zone just so because i mean it's just easier to remember but you know it just depends on what your team wants to say um but as i was saying right core this would be mid core and this would be left core left court being significantly bigger than the rest of the core area but just to let you guys know that this is what we refer to as core. In left core, you can kind of say that there's one in the left corner of left court, one in the right corner of right court, whichever is comfortable for you. You can kind of say the same with the, the right court area a little bit, but it can get a little bit confusing considering old zone is there. So you can kind of put the, you can, you can kind of say to your teammates the specific points in old zone, the back right corner of their old zone, left the back left corner of their old zone, the, the front, right corner of the old zone and, and considering there isn't really a front left corner of the uh, their old zone we would just say there's one in right lane of course so also i want to point out just to be more specific on little points especially with the lanes and stuff you can say outside left lane you can say outside right lane i know i just did that backwards uh, you can say their side right lane and you can also say their side left lane as well You can also say mid left lane or mid right lane or as long as you're able to communicate the specific points of where the enemies are It is all okay now before I move on to the last thing just to let you guys know that this area right here These two areas are known as street now you'd call this left street of course and you call this right street uh, just so you guys remember that we don't specifically call it light right lane and left lane because then you can confuse it with the previous callouts over here uh, but we usually call the part closer to their spawn uh, as street now between the streets there's this area right here which is known as snipe it's basically the defensive position uh, when you have pushed up on the map, so at least let's say that your teammates are here, here, here. If there is a sniper on their team, usually the sniper goes from the sponge or there'll be a ledge here and the sniper would just kind of perch themselves up on the top here to be able to defend their core area or get some sort of pick. Also, I would like to mention that this is spawn sponge, just so you guys know. Spawn sponge, our spawn sponge, their spawn sponge just very very easy it's a sponge that's why we call it that now going on with tower control and rainmaker you usually get use of this area all this area and this area right here all of this area now we just we straight up just call this top left and top right and it kind of just continues on now considering the tower move from here to here to here to here and then eventually stopping around here. This basically will just become the entirety of top left. Even this area right here. But I guess one thing I could do to break it down to you. Just to, you know, so you're, it's easier to identify what part they are coming from. Is basically be very, very specific. Let's say that if there is somebody on top left. Let's just refer it to this only, like, the specific part of the map right here. If there's somebody on their top right. Let's just refer it to this area right here. Now, if somebody is in this area right here, let's just say that that this is the back side of their top left. Back side of the top left. And this would be the back of their right, uh, the top right. So let's just say that these are the callouts uh, for Port Mackerel. If the tower has pushed from here, and got from I, I guess let's just say the tower can, that has actually gotten to this point right here this will be top left this will be back of their top left this will be top right and this whole area right here will be the back of their top right so when the tower is here refer to this as these positions right here so the tower continues to move now when the tower is about here this part becomes top left this but this part over here becomes top right and this part becomes uh, the back of the top left and this part becomes the back of the top right. Basically, the positions kind of change. It's all still like top left and top right, but it just kind of depends where the objective actually is. Let's just try to remember that. When the tower is on this position right here, this is top left, this is back of the top left, this is top right, 
and this is the back of their top right. When the tower is at this position, this has become top left. This is the back of their top left. This is top right. This is the back of their top right. The same would apply with the Rainmaker if the Rainmaker is in this area or in this area of wall. You know, the, basically the callouts have changed. Now there are situations where you would be like positioned here. And uh, if like one of your teammates are also positioned here and they see somebody like going through into this area. You can just say that there is somebody coming through top left. So, you know, what would basically happen is that this teammate over here would just identify that, you know, there could be someone here. And this teammate would have just identified that this, there could be someone here. So it can kind of go both ways with the objective and where your teammates are positioned. Uh, I mean, if your teammates are positioned in this type of fashion right here, just know that at least this area has is being watched. So usually what would happen anyway is that this t this person right here, they'll either try to go back or go all the way in and then go around to top left just to try and check it out and try to find this person. But it's very, very situational. So, you know, it's just the thing where your teammates got to have some sort of, I guess, discipline to remember of what parts of top left are there and what parts of top right are there and whatnot. And also, so I don't forget, this entire area is just spawn. This area is spawn, pretty obvious. There's a spawn there. They can come from left spawn, right spawn, top right spawn, top left spawn. Just so you guys know that. But, anyways, that is pretty much all the callouts. That's what Team Olive usually uh, refers everything to uh, on Port Mackerel. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of uh, callouts and that. <laughs> callouts and that, I guess. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of you feeling generous. And as always, guys, this has been that SRB2, dude, and I shall see you guys in a future video.